How's it going Guardians? Welcome back to another Destiny 2 video and today we're going to be talking about the dawning event that's coming on 11th December. If you find this video useful, a like would be greatly appreciated, don't forget to subscribe. So, Eva Levante, who's been missing for over a year, finally resurfaces and comes back to the dawning event. After the fiasco and catastrophe that was the Remove Eververse campaign, I guess Eva Levante could no longer contemplate or stand that type of misjudgment and decided that this year she would turn up and provide us with an awesome dawning event. And in true Eva Levante style, she'll be giving you a whole bunch of shaders and emblems. No, in fact, she's not going to be doing any of that. What she's going to be doing is bringing you some baking material and an oven for you to do some cooking. It says that she'll provide the oven and some ingredients to get you started. You'll need to go out into the world to gather more ingredients by defeating enemies and completing various activities in Destiny 2. Once you have your ingredients, you can start combining them to create some tasty treats like the Gala Doodles or Chocolate Ship Cookies. We'll give you a few recipes to get you started, but it's up to you to try different combinations and discover which ones turn into the most delicious cookies. Be careful however Guardians, mismatched ingredients will result in burnt edges and a dead recipe. You know I can hear Ignis, I've got it, I have a new recipe. So in case you're wondering what you do with these cookies, well friends you've made throughout the solar system are eager to receive your baked goods as a gift. So uh, I guess Ashamir is probably not going to get anything as well as Zavala. They will show their thanks by rewarding you in their own ways. There will also be bounties to complete along with your cookbook. Here's a preview of the rewards you'll have a chance to earn. You can earn enhancement cores, I mean that's a great reward right there. Mods, again a bit lackluster. Legendary gear, which I assume is the legendary armor. At least I'm hoping it is because if that's hidden behind Eververse, mind blown because people never learn and finally the avalanche heavy machine gun featuring random rolls so i assume that you'll be able to get this machine gun a number of times over the weeks in order to try and get a good roll after all the dawning event will be here from the 11th of december to the 1st of january so it's here for quite some time if you thought that was enough think again while you're gathering ingredients and baking your items, you'll also progress towards unlocking this festive new sparrow you're seeing on screen. I despise these methods of sparrows. The Harley Davidson style seating just doesn't work for me. However, this sparrow looks funky, cool, and I want it, and I hope it can fly. Obviously, it's not gonna fly, but I wish it could. This sparrow also comes with some very awesome perks. It has Glimmer Boost, while boosting the Sparrow spawns a Glimmer Present every few seconds until Boost runs out. Glimmer Presents burst open after a moment so that players can acquire the Glimmer, so it's free Glimmer for everyone. The second perk of this is Glimmer Trick. When the player lands a trick with the Sparrow, 3 to 5 Glimmer Presents are spawned. Now, Glimmer Boost and Glimmer Trick are only active during the Dawning Event. Outside of the Dawning Event, these will not be active. However, to compensate for that, they have given this sparrow an instant summon, which basically means that the time it takes to spawn it is significantly reduced, which is pretty much instant, basically. A word of note, Bungie thought it was prudent to mention dedicated bakers will also have triumphs to pursue. Those who unlock all the triumphs during the dawning will be flying in style. What that means, I don't know, but if this is gonna be the first flying mount in the game, hell yeah, I'm already up for it. Although I don't think Bungie will do anything that crazy. There is always a glimmer of hope. See what I did there? Double drops, yes, dawning event. All events are now double drops. You'll get a bright engram and a dawning engram on every time you level up. There will be a knockout list on the dawning engrams, preventing you from receiving duplicate items until you've earned all of the new items. This goes without saying, if you have the vanilla game only without any DLC or the annual pass and you're stuck at level 20, you won't need to level any higher in order to get the dawning engram. 
the max level that they talk about is literally based on the content that you have. As Dawning is available to everyone and is free content, this is still pretty cool. Inside of these engrams you can expect to find some ships, awesome looking ghosts and free new emotes. They're introducing the multiplayer emotes, get ready to throw down emote which looks kind of cool, pretty pissed off, looks like me every time I play Gambit. And finally the best emote of them all which actually has a lot of effort put into it it looks pretty awesome it looks amazing sadly this is an exclusive bundle available for direct purchase with real money for silver this will not be available inside eververse and activision needs to stop doing this this is a festive time of giving give back to your community do a goodwill gesture for christ's sake just do something. Doing this and removing what looks like the best emote for the event and making it paid content. Paywalling this content is disgraceful. But it's Activision. And at this point, no matter what we say, nothing will ever change. Next, their attention turns to your stockpile of bright dust. Tess will also offer ingredient packs in exchange for Bright Dust. If you don't have a lot of Bright Dust and are worried about other players getting to bake all their goods without having to play, don't worry. That won't be the case. Eva's Holiday Oven requires Essence of Dawning, which can only be acquired by playing activities in the game. So even if you want to stock up on some ingredients with your extra Bright Dust, you still need to go out into the world to earn the fuel to fire up your oven. So basically what they're saying here is it's not pay to win. Yes, it can help you and it will speed things up, but it's not pay to win. There are certain ingredients that you require that can only be acquired in the open world. So get out there and start farming. The dawning event begins on Tuesday, 11 December reset and ends Tuesday, January the 1st reset. Well, fellow guardians, that's pretty much all for the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful and if you have a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated don't forget to subscribe at 2000 subs i will be doing another giveaway with that said remain legend